This is how you can use the Social Squad feature in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Right now you can see I currently have the number one person in the world as bots in my own game. Now the way to actually do this is you have to go to the main menu. There is a way you can do it in the while loaded into the game, but you have to go over to Rick Flag. And anytime I attempted to load somebody in from the leaderboard, it wouldn't allow me to. But in the main menu, you can go to social right here. We've got global, the number one player, which is currently solid FPS. Once you select them, in the bottom, there's a view full player profile. You can see what they currently have equipped. And then right here, you'll be able to see all of their characters and all of their stats and equipment that they currently have equipped for that character. And of course, you have the option to add them, add the bot to your squad or remove them. You can also do this for your friends. So say if you didn't want the number one player, but you want the number two player, or your friends list, you can go to them. Same thing, view full profile. You can even add them to favorites or add the bot to your squad. Your friends you can do while in the game. Now, what exactly does Social Squad do? In case you didn't already know, it literally just loads that player or that player's profile as a bot inside of your own match. So say, I'm assuming while we're leveling up and kind of going through the main story, it's not going to be as useful, but once you get towards the end game content or if you're going up against a boss, in those cases, it would be a lot more useful because you're going to get all the stats and the talents and the looks and loadouts of that bot that you're using. So. In case if you're going up against the some of the Justice League members and you want to use the number one player in the world as one of your bots in your game, probably going to be really beneficial. Now, the thing it says is you won't get any XP levels or gear, but I'm not sure if you even get XP while leveling anyways, if you're not already playing as that character. So for instance, if I'm playing as King Shark, I'm not sure if I still gain XP or Harley Quinn, even though it is my character and not a bot. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if this helped you out, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League content. And if you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. For now, thank you all for watching.